Welcome back on my Lexi Lookers and Peep and Posse to Let's See with Lexi. Today I have an Ulta haul for you. I went to Ulta and decided to re-up on my product because I realized that your girl needed some new stuff. So, you know, we re-up, we got some product. And I'm excited to show you guys. So let's see what we got. I was excited to get this because it's been so long since, <clears throat> that's loud. It's been so long since I shopped for makeup and <sighs> it was a euphoric feeling. I was a kid in a candy store and a kid in a toy store all at the same time. I was just in my element. I was living at that moment. It, and when I tell y'all it's been forever since I shopped for makeup, it's been years, like years, years, okay. <laughs> so this is why we needed the new makeup. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna show you guys what I have and I hope you enjoy this video. So I'm gonna take everything out the bag because this bag is noisy. So normally I'm doing like a mommy on a budget type thing, um, but <laughs> today mommy ain't on a budget. Mommy's living. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the face and overall I just want, you know, a whole new set and a whole new collection, you know. So of course this is just the start of it, the beginning. And I'm going to start with foundation. Now, originally I was looking at NARS. Um, they didn't have my shade on the side. And then Julia's Place, the new the new line that came out, they didn't have my shade in that either. So you know, I said let me try Too Faced because you know I see good stuff about Too Faced. And this is the Born This Way. This is the Born This Way Foundation. Um, this is in color Chestnut. You know, I tried this one in the store. I'm like, you know, this ain't that bad. It was it was full coverage. It was good coverage. And I was torn between two colors. This one, which is Chestnut, and Chai. Chai was just slightly darker than this Chestnut. Um, I'm hoping that this is the right color because the lighting in Sephora wasn't all that good. You know, I'm not a fan of the, uh, the lighting in those makeup stores. Why they make them like that, I don't know. But I'm just hoping this is my shade. If it's not, then of course I'll be returning it and getting the other shade that will match me. So this is Too Faced Born This Way. The undetectable medium to full coverage foundation. Now, concealer. I got, how many concealers I got? <laughs> okay, technically I got three concealers, but one is for my contour, the two is just for the under eye and the highlight and stuff. But um, I did get NARS. Okay, I'll start with this one. I got NARS. This is in color Walnut. I got the mini ones too because I wanted to make sure that this shade was, you know, good for me. And um, I didn't want to spend $30 on a, on a shade where I wasn't sure if it was my shade or not for concealer. So, you know, I'm like, let me just test this out first and then, you know, if it's good, then we'll go from there. But it's the mini one, which is so cute. You know, you can fit this in your purse, your wallet, you know, little wristlets. If you need to touch up anything. Like I said, this is Walnut Medium Dark Radiant Creamy Concealer. Oh, that's a different language. I'm about to say that. <laughs> Came in this box. Yeah, this, this, uh, I was looking at a different color too, chestnut, but they didn't have that either. They didn't have that in the big size nor the small size. Um, was it chestnut or was it, 
No, this is walnut. Was it chestnut? It was chestnut. They didn't have it, so that altar was, they were lacking in their products. Mm -hmm. So we got another concealer, which is the Sharp Tart. <laughs> I'm mixing the two words together. This is the Tart Shape Tape. And it says America's number one concealer brand. And I know that for a fact because I see this concealer everywhere. So I'm like, I have to get it. This is what, full coverage? I hear this is full coverage. I got colored tan, deep sand. I'm like, if walnut don't work, then this should work. Okay. So yeah, this is a full size. This is the Shape Tape Concealer. Double duty beauty. That's what it says right here. <laughs> um, we're gonna, um, yeah, we're gonna have fun with this stuff. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this stuff. This says this is a 12 hour crease proof. So that's good because especially if you are um, aging or you know you have wrinkles under your eyes or bags under your eyes, then that concealer should definitely hold up for sure. Um, if you have a lot of creases, then yeah, you should be good to go with that concealer. I'm excited to use this stuff. Our next concealer, which I'm gonna use as a contour, is NARS as well, the Radiant Cream Concealer. This is in color Dark Coffee, and I think this is the darkest shade that they had in the concealer, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna use this as the contour, you know, to contour my cheeks my forehead my chin line my jawline i want that sculpted jawline y'all see i got a double chin right i want to look snatched like <laughs> i don't look snatched i mean it's nothing wrong with it but i want to give that appearance like your girl's jaw is tight <laughs> our next product is um this staple this is you know a holy grail you you gotta have this in your collection i besides this bh cosmetic eyebrow palette this is the only eyebrow pencil that i love i've tried other pencils before and it's like what the hell what did y'all do with my eyebrows this pencil precise perfect perfect tone perfect perfect width, diameter, everything about this pencil, the point, the application, the formula of it, everything is just perfect. You know, I don't see myself trying nothing else. I might try something else just to see what else is out there. But I ain't in no rush. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And this is in color granite. I wasn't sure which color I used to get because like I said, it's been a long time since I've shot for makeup. Um, I wasn't sure if it was ebony that I used to get or granite. I'm low-key thinking it was ebony, but you know, my hair is black now, so I kind of want that thicker, or not thicker, darker, deeper looking eyebrows. You know, the ebony is cool and all, but this is this is gonna be the color I'm looking for. Yeah. <laughs> This is it. Oh, I missed this. I missed this so much. Give myself an arch because these eyebrows has been getting on my nerves lately. <laughs> Y'all see that? Make my eyebrows sisters again. Oh, I missed this so much. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz 
if you don't have it go get it put this in your collection stop using the regular pencils that you have to sharpen for your eyebrows and go get this brow wiz if you feel like you cannot shape your eyebrows i swear this brow wiz i don't know what it is but if you can't do your eyebrows you will be able to do them with this brow wiz so go get this i highly suggest that highly our next item is, um, so that was the eyebrows. Yeah, so we'll keep it at the eyes. And our next item is the NYX liquid eyeliner. This is called the Epic Ink Liner, actually. Um, this is a, oh, this is, oh, this is waterproof. <laughs> okay, okay, so this is waterproof and this is in black. Like I said, I don't have makeup remover, <laughs> so that's going to be a problem. Okay. All right, whatever. We can work through this. Oh my God, that's beautiful. I don't know if the camera is picking this up or what. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. I'm just drawing like fake brows on here. You see that? Wow, this is NYX Epic Ink Liner, liquid liner with a nice pointed, precise tip. I know I'm gonna love this. I am going to love this. Next, we are going back to our face. Um, this was trending back in my day. I don't know if it's still trending now, but they still sell it so it, you know this is the Mario Badescu Mario Badescu skincare or face spray aka the setting spray Mario Badescu setting spray and this is with aloe and herb and rose water so the girls was raving about this back in the day and you know a setting spray is a setting spray um unless there's a setting spray that can literally make your face stay for like seven days a whole week then you know i'll just stick to the regular basic stuff as long as it just wet my face up get the job done i'm good so the mario badescu Bede setting spray this is the mini bottle also because even though I was shopping, <clears throat> it wasn't a mommy on a budget place. <clears throat> but, you know, if it's a big size or mini sizes and it's my first time trying it out, then best believe I'm going to try out the mini size first. And then if I like it, the next time I go, I'll get the big size. So we're trying out the mini size for this. So now we're moving down to the lips. So this next product is, I can tell I'm going to love this lip combo. This is NYX. The remainder of the products are NYX, NYX lip products. So this is NYX Professional Makeup, okay? Line Loud Lip Pencil. And this is in color rebel kind and i didn't take the plastic off of this i tried this one out the testers out in the store and the application for this when i applied it on my on my hand on the back of my hand was so darn smooth i'm like oh my god it it, it low-key reminded me of this liquid liner um so I was like, okay, yeah, this is it. This is it. This is this is the one we're gonna get. You know, because I have high expectations for this lip stuff. This lip pencil, the lip combination. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is this is it. This is the roll. This is the roll. Oh no, you gotta sharpen it still. Okay, whatever. But this out. <laughs> Mm. That's beautiful. 
be popping out the game for a minute. For a minute. That's nice. That looks like when you rub your lips together, it's gonna blend real good. Like real good, real smooth, real seamless. And you're not gonna get that harsh line sometimes, you know, that you get with lip liners. That looks that looks good. Yeah. That looks good. I'm excited about that. Um, our next product is NYX again. This is their soft matte lip cream. Is this light? Oh shoot, you should do it this way. All right, well, I just changed the color tone in the middle of the video, towards the end actually. <laughs> this is not too bright, so we're just gonna keep it like this. But um, yeah, I have this um, soft matte lip cream in the color Abu Dhabi, which I love that color. Um, it's not too beige, it's not too bright, it's more of a toned down, you know, nude lip. So I was like, let me just try another new lips, see, you know, if I can find another combination that I'll fall in love with. So I saw this color in Cairo, like Cairo, Egypt. Um, and this, this was a, this was a nice, this was a nice beige, a nice nude. So I was like, let me try this one, of course. Me trying stuff, me getting my little feet wet again, getting my ears wet. What is it called? Getting, getting my feet wet. I'm getting my feet wet again. So it's like this color. It's a little on the brighter side, but um, you know, it looks like this will be. A great combination especially with the glosses that I got for this I'm just excited to try everything I really am so the first gloss is NYX of course this is milky gloss so this last actually this last group of makeup is is drugstore makeup and this is good drugstore makeup quality nyx is nyx is pretty good with their quality i have to give them that they're pretty good with their stuff but this is nyx this is glossy oh this is milk milky gloss nyx this is milky gloss and this is in the color milk and honey huh. I saw this at the store. I tested it out. I said, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. So, oh, this is like a nice nude peachy color. Mm, wow, this is beautiful. This would be beautiful on the lips. So yeah, this, this would definitely go great with Cairo and Rebel Kind lip liner this is the combination this is the combination this is it this is it <laughs> and then the last gloss we have i'm going to show you my hand after i swatch this one after i tell you about this one now this one okay this is this is a nice color this is real nice too this is also nyx this is milky gloss and this color is cookies and milk so this is more so of a um i would say a, like a grayish undertone um because you know cookies you know you dip your cookies you ever had your cookies you dipped it in milk and it turned the cookies like a grayish color so this is it basically it's like a chocolatey grayish color milk, milk chocolate grayish color there we go that's it um like I said, I swatched this at the store, and I said, wow, this is nice. This is nice. Ugh. This this could be worn by itself, too. This is pigmented. This is a pigmented lip gloss. But this one could definitely be worn by itself. Mm. Ugh. Let me show you the other one too. 
Let me show y'all this one too. Look at that, just pop right up. You was waiting, you was ready. Okay, so this is wait, milk honey, milk and honey. So this one is more of a transparent color. I don't know if you can see if the camera's picking it up, but that one is milk and honey. This one is cookies and milk or milk and cookies. So you can see the difference in the tone. This is more of that grayish undertone, like a grayish beige, beige gray color. And this is more of a nudish peaches, transparent gloss color. Everything looks good. The quality of these products, so far with swatching them and trying them on in the store, it seemed, um, it seemed really good. I was excited to buy it. I'm excited to use it. I can't wait to show you guys. Ugh. So thank you guys for tuning in to my Ulta haul. I am excited again to show you guys how everything comes out, how everything is on the face, um, the combination, the lip combinations. I'm excited to show you guys. Um, I'm definitely going to get a video out with just like using these products, mainly just these products and just mm, beating that face to the max. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. face card <laughs> okay let me come down thank you for tuning into this Ulta haul I appreciate your support let me know in the comments what you think about the video give me some suggestions of what you want to see next um, please like comment and subscribe to my page follow me on TikTok and Instagram let's see with Lexi and until next time I'll catch y'all later